So I watched the second Maze Runner and I have no intention of watching the third, because the story is complete horseshit. The first movie starts with a setting where everybody is a young male with amnesia. Fuck amnesia. amnesia! It's the laziest excuse to use, so the protagonist needs everything to be info dumped. This is not a good way to have a mystery. People are not trying to find the answer to a question, they are posing a question because the answer was taken. And of course, the protagonist is the only one who is a special flake. Not only he is blank, so everybody can easily identify with, not only he is used as a lobotomy Taskman, so everything needs to be explained to us. But on top of that, in just three days, he does things nobody else was capable to achieve in three years. Empowerment fantasy, anyone? There is this guy who is constantly antagonizing him, he keeps hitting him and demands to stop being curious about the maze when he is simply trying to find a way to get out, the same thing everybody is doing. The movie never justifies his actions, he's a one dimensional asshole with no proper motivations. Then they throw a girl in the story, which offers nothing to the plot, she's there simply as a platonic girlfriend for the protagonist. I mean, seriously. The first thing she says is his name, which instantly cock blocks everybody else. We can't have anyone else going after the only girl in the show. She exists to be a prize for the empowerment fantasy that is the protagonist, which still doesn't excuse why she wasn't gang raped by everybody. How is it possible to have dozens of men in their sexual prime for three years who wouldn't go apeshit at the sight of a female? In fact, why haven't any of them turned gay all this time? Three years without anyone having sex, how is that possible? And then comes the revelation at the end, and it makes no sense. If the sun has scorched the earth, why were they fine under the sun? If these young people are the last hope of mankind, what was the point of stealing their memories, building a gigantic transformer maze, throwing them in the middle of a fucking death trap where you are constantly killing them, and then making it seem to those who managed to escape the maze that the researchers who put them there were killed? Answer? There wasn't any! Their plan makes no fucking sense! This leads us to the second movie, which is a straightforward zombie apocalypse flick. The youths are taken to a new facility where they are harvested so a cure for the zombie virus can be found. Which makes sense, and is what the evil organization should be doing from the very beginning instead of wasting a fortune in making mazes and killing the ones they needed to harvest. But that is too much to expect from a writer who named the organization Wicked. Seriously, that is the name of the evil organization. Wicked! So much thought put into it. Anyways, they managed to escape this new facility pretty easily, something nobody else was able to, thanks to the special flake that is the protagonist being with them. They travel through the wasteland that is Earth, fend off zombies, and eventually find a resistance group named the Right Hand. Because they are right, and are fighting the wicked. God, these lazy names are killing me. There is nothing worthy of note going on in the second movie. It ends with a cliffhanger where the evil wicked attack and kidnap the protagonist's waifu. So he swears revenge, prepares to attack their evil base, and we are watching a corner fighting shonen. I don't give a shit about the third movie. These are terrible films based on terrible books and are essentially light novels. Stop liking trash!